Guess what day it is? Yeah, it's Mother's Day. It is. Yeah, so we want to tell everybody Happy Mother's Day. If you're a mama, Happy Mother's Day. If you got a mama out there, if you're fortunate, ow, hey, easy. If you're fortunate enough to still have your mama around, you give her a big old hug and tell her you love her and how much you think of her and thank her for everything she's ever done for you. Because uh, a lot of us out there don't have our moms around anymore, and I'm sure we would love to have them back just to give them that one more hug, tell them Happy Mother's Day. So don't take your mamas for granted. All right, appreciate all you moms out there very, very, very much. From the Adler Farms family to you, thank you all. We love you. All right. Say good morning, Adler Farms family. Yeah, welcome. Well, I don't know where y'all are from, but here in the uh, central part of the country, at least in the Ozarks, we have had a lot of rain. In fact, within the last couple hours, we probably had another, probably had an inch and a half. And then yesterday morning, about 2.45 in the morning, same time, both days, another inch and a half. And she is a muddy mess out here today. Uh, what we're gonna do today, it's gonna be a little bit different. Over about a three day period, I filmed three different days between the last video <clears throat> and the one you're seeing this morning because we had two pretty significant events so i i filmed them in real time so i'm going to have grandma start this video out we're going to show you something about the kittens something about the chickens okay then when you guys watch that i will give you a little more information give you updates okay and then we're actually we're going to go feed the chickens okay that's what we're going to do but in the interest of time uh that's probably about all we're going to do as far as animal wise uh we'll probably won't uh, show feeding the goats and the pigs that would probably be pretty routine for the morning then we'll hang out with the puppies for a little bit and they're over there hi they're over there they come out in the morning and they have to go potty first after they hey listen riley riley honey don't jump on batman don't do that oh Hey everybody, this is not normally a day that I film, but I came down this afternoon, fed all the animals, got all everybody taken care of. Had to go back down and get some fresh hay for the goats. Came back down in the goat pen, heard a little chirp, chirp, cheep, 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 little panic cheeping going on. But as you know, gray has been broody. Yeah, you guessed it. She's had some little ones. <laughs> Here's what I'm gonna do because it isn't cold. I brought down, hope this works. That's the dog crate right there. And I'm going to put them in the dog crate. Now, I don't know how many she's got. She's on them up there right now. I caught the little one that was brood, uh, caught the little one that was running around and he was down or she was down here running around. I caught it. Put it back up there with gray but i'm going to attempt i got to get gray down and the little ones and put them in here because right here is where uh magneto roosts now he may not know that they're already around i don't know but but even if he didn't bother them already you can see one of them jumped down here no way to get it back up there mama can't do it so it was gonna it was destined to scream and holler till either i found it or something got it running around here at night. So I can't do that. So I'm gonna put her in here. Let's just see uh, how many are up there and see if I can get her down. Hey, mama, we gotta get some birdies, okay? She ain't gonna like it. Hey, hang on. Oh, it's all right, it's all right, it's okay. Let me have, it's all right, you're all right. Hello, honey. It's okay. Come here, come here, I'm gonna put you in here. That's right, get in there, Mama. Get in there. I gotta get your little ones. Hang on a minute. Just a minute. You're all right. Hang on. I'll get them. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Okay, one. Looks like there's three. There you go. Go to Mama. Go to Mama. One. Right. Come here, don't go backwards. Come here, don't go that way. Looks like to me they're probably, probably four or five days old. 
There's a bunch of unhatched eggs too, a bunch there. So there's three and they're all black, little magnetos. There's a bunch of eggs up there. I got to pull them and see. I don't know if I'm going to let her continue to set on those or not. I do, I do not know. Maybe I'll put them in there. I may put them in there. But right now I'm going to take a bunch of hay and stuff it all around the back and make, build it up pretty high so they cannot get out. But she's in there right now. She's, she's on all of them. They're fine. Yeah, that's it. Thanks. Well, Grandma got home from work, thank goodness. I need an extra pair of hands. So I hope we're doing the right thing. Uh, I got plenty of help, but I'm gonna take this mesh and put it on this side. I got hay stamped up against this, uh -huh. all the way to the back, really smashed the side out. So I don't think they can get out of there, but she's on them right now and she's underneath them. So you can't see them and you can't, there's no way to, you know, I'm not gonna reach in there and get her to move. She's very That's okay. defensive. There's three little black magnetos. That's all they are. They're 100% black magnetos. taking one of them they, they, they got out poking it back through the thing and she attacked me through that oh yeah she was trying to she was flying feet and feathers and everything else and i had that little one Woo! she was mad so i think that will hold everybody in for now and she feels confident i'm pretty sure the goats are bigger than anybody does that feel good I don't fit. Wait a minute. <laughs> no, that ain't right. How do you do that? No. What? All right, Gray. You got three little ones. All right. Plenty of food. Plenty of water. You're well protected. You're good. So I pulled down. There's about what was there? It's probably nine eggs up there. None of them were pipping. You know. So I think probably when she started those three, the others may have already been there or, or they, you know, cause I don't think Sassy laid any after the fact. So they would have all been about the same age. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have three little magnetos or magnetoettes. We have no idea. Right now we're just hoping and praying they stay in there. We'll have to figure something else out later down the road, but right now they're all good. This camera right here is right on them. It's right on them. I can zoom in and see the freckles on her nose. All right. Okay. Well, this video is going to be different. Yep. It's going to span about six days. <laughs> I mean, have 10 different events there, New Grandma. New life on the farm. New life on the farm. I tell you what, this old life's getting old right here now. <laughs> Man, I'm wearing out. What do you think, leave these puppies? Puppies, what do you think? We had a big day today. Oh, Grandpa. Oh, Grandpa, we've laid eggs and, yeah, we've been chasing kitty cats and follow Grandma or follow Mom. That's a follow, yeah, follow Mom. Let's go take a rest. Let's go rest and get something to eat. It's time for dinner. Woo! Let's go down there and take a little nap. Let's go. Come on. Follow, mom. follow Mama. Oh, you look at that tail. Look, tails are dragging. They're so tired. Come on, buddy. Am I going to have to carry you? Huh, you want dad to carry you down there? I'll have to carry him. Oh my goodness. That's pretty funny. I'm gonna have to carry, oh, I just, I'm just barely making it. I'm just barely making it. Oh, I don't know, I can't, I just can't do it. Come on. Last night, about two o'clock in the morning, Leanne was checking the cameras, checking on the kitties. A possum come in under the door. Leanne went out, bless her heart, and uh, she chased that possum out. And then she put the door down. We got up this morning and the kitties were there. We left at about 7.30, 7.40, around the same time. When I came home around 9-ish, 9.15, 9.30, the cats were gone. Again, both of us just sick-hearted, all right? Devastating after all that, worried to death. Well, 
this afternoon, I came back. I'd been gone, I came back, and I, Miss Kitty, she came up and ate. Come over here to the shed. There's the shed, all right? There's the house. Here's the chicken coop. This is the south side. I followed Miss Kitty, and I saw something on a log, a dead log, right out here in the woods. Look at here. There they are. There's one. There's two more on the other side of that log. And down here under this tree is Mama and one kitty cat. I'm blown away. What do you do? You take them and put them in the garage or you leave them out here? Well, folks, I'm here to tell you right now, it's kind of a no-brainer. She may not like it. I'm taking these cats. I'm moving them to the garage. Even if I have to keep the door shut, only let her in and out. I'm going to do it because out here with the possums, the raccoons, there's no way she can protect these kittens. No way. Uh, I don't know. Maybe this is where she had them. Even when we thought she had them in the shed, I don't know. But this is not a safe place for these kittens. I don't know if she was going to move them back in tonight. I don't know. I'm thinking it was probably the possum that scared her off, scared her into bringing them out here. But I am going to take these kittens and put them in the garage right now. So there's one down there with her. You can't even see her. She's so camouflaged in there. And the others are right. Look at here. There's one, two. The other one's down there. Yeah, there's the third one. See it right there? Hi, honey. Listen, you guys, we're going back to the garage. Mama may not like it. Mama kitty, honey, listen. This is for your own good and your kitty cats. I know you're trying to be a protective mama. This is not going to work, okay? Alrighty. Here are the other two. Took a little bit of find on this little gray one. He went and hid under the bushes. But I left Mama over there, and hopefully she's going to follow. I hope I hope she leaves them in here. I don't know what she's going to do. I hope she doesn't hurt them or anything, you know. We're thinking that, I don't know. My imagination's running wild right now, but at least we've got all four of them. we got the other two already. Put these two back in the garage. Here, honey. She's still over there. The other two already in there. Got them? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Ready? Okay, that little gray one hit on me. I had to go hunting, but Mama, luckily, she got up and went and actually found her for me. There's the other two right there. There we go. I put them on the bottom thing. Look at here. There we are. All right, back home. But I'm gonna get some of that food, some and I'm gonna put it out for them and see if I can get them to eat it because okay. they're eating that. Yeah. Um, that food. But yeah, the nursing is not going to be enough for them at this point, I don't think. No, so. and the, this is kitten food that I got. Yeah, well, you know, it's like I told everybody, I had two choices. I either leave them there or bring them in here. Yeah, well, this will help because, yeah. you know, it kind of makes it more. Right, right. Now, she stayed put in the brush. She's still out there in the brush. She let me take them. She didn't even care. She just didn't. Well, know. I think last night scared her. That I possum. It scared me. I mean, yeah, I told her about it, yeah, 2 o'clock. And then I, yeah, so anyhow, uh. Ooh, thank you, Lord. Again, I just didn't think she'd move them again, you know, but well, honestly, I don't know. I, I watched her last night, and she was fearful the entire time. Even after that silly thing left, um, she just didn't rest. Yeah. Well, we did. It is cleaned up. You helped me clean it up the other day. Believe it or not, folks, this looks great. We swept it out. It looks good. They got lots, all kinds of room. We'll just have to start leaving the doors down. Uh, I'm not going to take that chance again. And well, we'll I have just. A big litter box know. too that she would probably use if she needed it at night well, so we'll, we'll set it up yeah and i'll put a fresh one out here yeah. for them i All still right. have a little one an actual little one for okay. them coming that they can get in this well i can i got those box fans i can set one up and let I think it we're gonna have to blow for some breeze but you know they're, they'll be safer in here than they were out there it gotta I know. be right I, know. I, couldn't believe I couldn't leave them out there there's no way i wouldn't have slept I, there's no way no. Okay. all right well i'm gonna go check on her there's a coop, 30 feet, big tree, this log, shed, right here. There's Mama still. She may not think much of me right now. She may be waiting on her kitties, but I'm going to see if I can't pick her up and carry her into the garage. 
where her kitties are, so she's gonna know where they're at because she's looking for them. She'll be looking for them here in a minute, I'm sure. Well, this is certainly a much better sight to see right here. Got a little one underneath the little PlayStation. Two of them playing in the kitty litter. One eating the uh, little Friskies kitty food that Grandma got. And Miss Kitty was eating everything. I, I she was hungry. She was hungry. You know what? Yeah, she had been in here and had some some fresh water. Yeah. Here we go, Mama. Here we go, Mama. Here's some full fresh water. Here we go, Mama. You leave them in here. I got a uh, box fan set up here, so have a little air movement. And if she goes outside, we're still going to put the door down, no, and she'll just have to uh, figure it out. Got her own kitty litter box. What's that? Tell you what, if I was a cat, I only got to stick around, wouldn't you? I'm going to leave it. She's going to notice that door is down. But, yeah, there's no way. At least for a couple days or so. I, I don't know, you know. I don't. I got some uh, marshmallows for some possum. I'm going to set the traps out here right around the house. I think I could have been in the last night. Yeah, I bet you could have. Yeah, look at there. There you go, kitties. Yeah, they, they had to be in here. They had to. There's no way she can nurse them. You know, they're 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 eating on their own. Quite the scare though, wasn't it? Oh my gosh. Waking up this morning, they're here. Two and within three hours, mm -hmm. gone. I tell you what. Well the scare was saying the possum, but I thought the possum was after the kittens and I think now it was just after their food. I don't know. Yeah, the possum could have been it didn't matter. She it was a threat to her, so it, it wasn't gonna make any difference. You see how good they're eating now? Oh yeah, look at there. That one's even eating her food, which is not the kitten. Yeah, that's right. That's not the kitty food, but it's nice and soft, so and look at them. Supposed to have that three to four times a day. Really? Three or four times a day? Yeah. Well, there, there's no way out there in the woods she was going to be able to do this. I mean, they, they wouldn't have made it. Got to feel better about that, you know what? I feel a lot better. Look at there. I do too. Well, in order to sleep tonight, all the doors are going down and they're in. If she wants to stay outside, so be it. I say we put her in here too. Put her in here too and make yeah. her stay? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. she does nurse them at night. I said yeah. Do it last right, night. right. Well, we want her to get the idea this is the best place for them, so. If I see her get up and Wander around and meow or one out, I'll let her out. Well, I'll do the same. You know, I mean, I'll probably be awake too. But yeah. all right, folks, here they are. Hopefully, second time's the charm. They're not going to get a third time. They're <laughs> not going to get a They're third chance. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you guys are going to make it no matter how hard you try not to. All right, so that happened that day. We went through the night. I got up, I think, at 2.30 in the morning or something. I just thought, you know, I'm going to go check on them or what have you. They came out here, and I looked. Yeah, it was about 2 o'clock in the morning. I flipped the light on, and I saw something. I came out on the truck, and I, I saw something run behind the truck. It was a possum. I knew immediately it was a possum. I don't think that possum ever got ran out. I think it went and hid, and they're hard to find. When Grandma thought she ran it out, I think it stayed in and got over there in that corner and stayed there all day long. So it went over there and got behind the barbecue grill, and she knew it. She had sat here uh, and watched that thing. She knew it was in here. That's why she's get, trying to get these babies out here, and I had no clue. I chased that possum out, and his uh, uh, he, he went out with a bang, let's just say. So he won't be coming back anymore. And I've got the other traps. I'm going to set some traps up. But since that time, she has not tried that again. She is totally happy with leaving them in here. You know, they'll, they're getting more adventuresome. If she goes and lays out here, you're right, they'll get under the truck. They'll do all kinds of things. And I can assure you this, Grandma and I, we don't start a vehicle. We don't back one out. We don't pull one in till we have eyes on her and all four kittens. Believe me, okay? <laughs> It's a routine. It's what we do. But as you can see, here's three of them. I don't know where number four is. It's probably, who knows where. It's around somewhere. But you can see, 
eating this food and they eat the hard food. They're using, the, I got kitty litter here uh, for the little ones. I got a kitty litter box over there, a big one for, for mama. Now see, she's looking for the fourth one. She knows, uh oh, sorry, honey, it's okay. I have picked them all up. Now, she loves getting up here and she'll sit in that seat Work right out. there. And she is a good mama. She knows where they are all the time. I'm telling you, she's, she's incredible. All right, so you got three of them under here. Let me show you where number four gets. Don't worry, I know there's things in the garage, all that stuff, but nothing's open. They can't get to nothing uh, that, that'll hurt them. Uh, so they're perfectly fine, but look at here. Now this is kind of a favorite spot of this one here. It's gotta be the same one. Let me zoom in. See that little face right there? There we are. Likes to sleep on them folding chairs right there. <laughs> We're all doing really good, but yeah. We're going to make sure, no matter what, no matter if she, we're, we're, they're going to stay in the garage. They're going to stay in the garage. So we're very, uh, very careful about that and very diligent. So kitties are doing fine. Before we, go, before we go into the big chicken pen, I'll let you know what we did with uh, Gray and the three little ones. Because of the uh, situation, like I explained, I didn't think I could leave them there permanently. And Chad actually said, hey, you know, with the raccoon situation or whatever, you know, uh, probably wouldn't be able to stay up there. And even though I wasn't concerned with raccoons and possum getting up there with the goats and all that, but you know, I didn't want to, I, I knew that they probably maybe could get out of there. She had to get out. I had to let Gray out to walk around a little bit. So here's what it came up with. I put them in with the four newbies, be it probably three roosters and one, two and two, one and two, one and three, I have no idea. But I, I took some welded wire Put it from here around to here and i put this uh it's uh, uh it's it's a plastic a nylon version of hardware cloth from top all the way to from top up here all the way down to the bottom i put her in there with some hay and they've got water she has uh i put some uh, uh chick starter in there and then this is her food out here so these guys cannot get in and she can get out and at least roam around here i put up two tarps for rain but the last couple of nights this rain that we've had here i'll let you watch her the birdies are there underneath her right now they're in there you can see it's a little damp a normal rain this would be fine but we had blowing rain hard so i came out at 2 45 in the morning yesterday morning and water was coming in and of course you know you worry about too much water drowning getting wet the chicks and all that so i i brought over the the bottom of the dog crate and it covers this perfectly so i put it over the top left her a little space for for air of course and then i came out uh, a couple hours later after it quit raining or slowed down and took it off and she was fine so i took it back in the house put it back where it goes cleaned it up changed her hay out and 24 hours later, 2.40 this morning, it busts loose again. Well, I just immediately got up, threw my, my rain coat on and all that stuff, and, and it's lightning and thundering like it was, and I thought, oh, I'm going to get struck. Oh, I'm a goner. And it was just going crazy. You're okay. Hey, you're okay. You're all right. Rev, you're okay, buddy. You're all right. You're fine. They do that, but they'll get used to it. So I did it again. Put that lid over it, and I come back a little while ago and took it off of her, and I'll have to change that out, but they're okay. So I think, folks, this will be this will be good for now. You know, uh, she hops in and out, and three little ones running around. I mean, they're under there. You talk about a protective mama. Ooh, she is protective. Yeah, they're all underneath her right now. Uh, I've had to reach my hand in there a couple of times, and she she gets on me hard. You know something else that's weird? Those three, four little birds come out here and it's pouring down rain. And of course, now they're under a tarp too, but it's blowing in a little bit. They're getting a little damp. You know where they are? Are they in the igloo? No, they're sitting on top. They're sitting on top of that right there getting wet. So, you know, they're a little slower at night. I thought, well, I'm going to do them a favor. I picked them all off the top, put them in the doghouse, turned around, come back out, and they got right on top of it. I said, you know what? You know what? I, you're, I'm done. You just, you're, I'm done with you. You know, stay under there you know stay out in the rain I, I don't you know Woo! so that's where we're at with miss gray uh you know when i let her sit on that roost 
I knew there was a chance, but I kept thinking, yeah, probably, you know, probably aren't going to be, if they're fertile, you know, probably aren't going to produce anything. And when I went out there and heard that little cheap, cheap, and I wasn't sure if it was 21, I wasn't counting how many days, you know, I'd been, I knew it'd been a couple of weeks. And next thing you know, there they are. And I'm thinking, oh my goodness, I got three more little baby birds in addition to these. And, you know, I just thought, what have I done? But you know, I allowed it to happen. I could have pulled them eggs at any time. I did get rid of those other eight or nine, and there were no, no other little fertile eggs in there, so we were good there. So anyway, she's got three. That won't be so bad. Let's open this door here and let the, I think everybody's out for sure. Uh-oh, hang on, this is gonna be, there's all, rain sticks to this thing here, and then when you do that, you get soaking wet if you're not careful. And I've done that a hundred times. Open that door. So now we got that cleared up so I can open this door. And uh, here we go. Everybody should be out today. They're out today. All right, we're good. I'm going to open up this other door too. All right, here we go. Okay. Oh, there's all kinds of bugs in here. Kids, you might want them bugs. Huh? You want them bugs? You don't even see them. You don't even see them, do you? Yeah, you do. Get you a couple of them. Hey, come here, girls. Hey, you guys want to, you want some wormies? You want the wormies in here or out? Oh, it's got rained on. Huh? You ready? Oh, that's muddy. You want to see Grandpa fall in the mud. Oh, we have to have a wormy dance. We really do. You ready? Here's some wormies. Here we go. Here we go. Now in the morning time, we don't uh, empty the water. It's uh, I, when I do it last. When I do it at night of the evening. Here, honey. Here goes this. You know they're pretty much uh, water's clean in the morning, and unless the turkey gets in there, and if she gets in and messes in it, I'll clean it up. But it was pretty clean this morning, so. That's how the uh, afternoon and the morning videos can differ just a little bit, but if I did them in the morning every time, we'd do the wormy thing. But again, there's a whole lot in this video, so we'll do this. How's that, sis? Is that good, sis? Huh? Here you go, Mags. Okay, we did have, folks, a sad thing happen. We had a loss. I come out here about three days ago, and I walked around. I let the chickens out, right? I let them out. But Miss Reba, bless her heart, she, I found her, I found her laying right here, folks. Here's that door. I come out and she's laying right here dead. Her feet were sticking out. Her head was under there just a little bit. I'm thinking, you know, possum, raccoon, I don't know. So I, I, she'd been, she'd been gone probably I don't know, maybe all night, I don't know, but I picked her up and, and uh, you know, there was no damage, no blood, no feathers missing, no, you know, a raccoon will, you know, usually decapitate them and just leave them, possum do the same thing, but there was nothing, no marks of a struggle at all, and I know, I thought, well, maybe she got in this door and got hung up and choked out or something, but she was over here, you know, plus this door is like a, your garage door, if it comes down and hits something, it goes back up. That can't be it. Besides that, you know how fast chickens are. These chickens know when that run, when that door makes a noise, you know, they'll, they, I guarantee you, they know it's, something's happening and they ain't gonna run in there on purpose. Oh, it's got wet. So, that happened and I was very, very sad about that. It really upsets me to lose a bird. You know how I am and I don't care if it's a bird or a, whatever it is, I just, I just love them all to death and I, so I really, I was really very bummed out about that, you know, to kind of take pride in these birds being as safe as possible. And I don't think it was, it was not a predator. It was not a predator because I went all the way around the bottom of the pens and uh, there's no holes. You know, by now, a lot of this, you know, how things will settle against the, po the bottom of that. And there's no holes, no nothing, nothing in the fence. We've not had a problem since. So I just don't know what happened, but it really made me made me sad so just to update you now we have to have the 12 and miss reba reba's not with us anymore so now okay our littles i will feed them here in a little bit they've got some food they got water 
but it got damp last night that stuff draws water it's under here but again it blew so we got a rooster uh this guy right here let's see i believe it's this one let's see is it that one one of the white ones either this one or that one is crowing one of the two for sure is a rooster i think this barred rock looking fella i think he's a rooster but they're all doing great all 11 of them are doing fine okay hi honey hi miss kitty hi honey you okay i know listen we got to go in and yeah we'll go in here well come here honey well come here it's okay come here baby it's okay she's been getting out a little bit more and a little bit more in fact when i opened the door at 245 two mornings in a row she'd been in there all night long well then she she runs out i come over here to within a span of about five minutes she she runs out and i didn't i didn't check on her so you know she she's out for two or three hours but she comes back she's dry as a bone so she's finding something somewhere to get underneath i don't know where she's going she goes out hunting the other day she brought a field mouse in about that big she's hunting for the kittens it's about like so i had to throw it out because the kittens don't know what to do with it you know i'm proud of you though proud of her for doing it then yesterday <laughs> about five oh four o'clock something like that came out in the garage turned the corner oh my word there's a squirrel a dead squirrel she brought him a dead squirrel didn't you mama yeah you did brought him a dead squirrel so i don't i don't know she's just hunting for him but so anyhow thank you guys for watching this video i know it was a little different but i hope you enjoyed it and we'll get back on track i don't know maybe we don't want to get back on track maybe we just want something exciting all the time no we don't not like that we want good excitement the chickens are good kitty cats are good the puppies are good the goats are good Should we tell everybody thank you for the prayers okay thanks for the prayers uh we got some things in the mail that we're going to put together and show you thank you for the neat little things you all send us appreciate that very very much don't have to do it you don't have to do it but you do thank you yep. we love you and until next time everybody bye bye say bye bye stay okay okay bye bye everyone from riley and rev there we go Okay, there we are.